Okay, in this quick Ableton tutorial, we're going to talk about setting up a FireWire or USB audio device with your Macintosh. You can see that we're running the Ableton 7 version under Mac OS X. So what we need to do is click on Live up here in the top left, and let's go to Preferences. This opens up our Preferences window here in Ableton Live 7. What we want to do is change from the built-in audio device that we're using through the mini plug input on our laptop or our desktop to a more professional device like a FireWire or USB. What we can do right here where it says audio input device, if we click and hold down and we have our FireWire or USB device connected and powered on, it should show up here in the list. You can see that I'm using a Motu 828 that has 10 ins and 10 outs. So I'm going to select that for my input device and I also want to do that for my output device. Now, so that we can test our Marketing Decorum 828 FireWire audio device, we obviously want to make sure that we have our speakers connected, the speakers are powered on, and we also obviously have the Marketing Unicorn device turned on. Let's close out of our preference window, and you can see over here under File Browser 1 folder that it's a shortcut to some loops that we have. Now, right here we are in the session view, and if I just double click on this file, it'll create a new audio track. Now when I click the play button, we should be able to hear the audio come through our FireWire device that we just configured. Let's click on play. In this quick Ableton tutorial, we're going to talk about adding an EQ to one of your channels. Here on channel 3, you can see that we have an audio loop that we would like to EQ. If you don't see the list of line browser effects, what we want to do is actually click right here on this folder. Notice how it brings up our live devices. We actually would like to add an EQ3, so what we can do is if we want a specific EQ3, we can click on the twirler to twirl down the triangle and show our list of folders. You can see we have some presets, or if we would just like to bring the entire EQ, we can click and hold down on it and drag and drop it right here on Audio 3. You can see that it adds the EQ. Let's play it back. So you can see that we can make an adjustment to the EQ overall, bringing the gain up or down. Or if we want to just use it like a kill switch, notice that we can kill that. Up here within the channel strip, notice that we can automate the EQ3 if we choose it here out of the list. By default, it might be on the mixer. We'll go back and choose EQ3. I want to choose uh, low gain. And then you can see that we can just double click and make nodes and bend it accordingly. And then when we play it back, you can see that the low gain is now automated because of the track automation that we have here. All right, that concludes this quick tutorial in Ableton Live.